So this is what I would say, ladies. We often defer our dreams. We don't even dare even ask, who am I? What do I want? You think, yeah. oh, what does it matter what I want? It matters what you want. And it's not to say you're going to be selfish and put your family aside. The greatest service you can do to your family is for you to be centered, is for you to know who you are and where you're going, and for you to live that thing out. I, my mouth felt, you know, open when I reflected on the fact that just because I'm a wife and, ch- and, and, and mother doesn't mean God is going to um, absolve me from fulfilling my purpose on the earth. I had a purpose before I became a wife and mother. And he's going to be like, okay, what'd you do? With your time on the earth, he's still gonna ask me. I'm yes. like, what? Didn't you see how busy it got? Like right about 30 something? No, he doesn't care. I mean, he cares, but you know what I mean? So then, what would it look like? I was just trying to listen to see it. <laughs> I was listening to Rachel Holly. She has this book, Girl Stop Apologizing. He's basically saying, what would it look like for me in my context? Not like her, not her family, not them with the money, not them with all the time, not them with 57 maids in the house. No, no, no. Me and my life where I'm doing everything and I'm going to work and I'm taking care of my family, me in my context. What would it take? And you would be surprised what that one question will do for you. Don't defer any longer. Find out what impassions you. Choose the principles on which you live, including wealth. If wealth is a principle for you, make sure that you're not, you know, shortchanging yourself by asking for less than your worth. And then just ask what would it take and follow that and you'd be surprised what you can see.